Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So today on the review bench we have two battery packs. These are new products from RS Components and they both have USB sockets on them for powering devices and charging devices. You have two uh, USB-A sockets there for either charging a phone or powering a device like a Raspberry Pi and you've got a micro USB socket there for charging the power pack itself. They're based on lithium polymer batteries and they both have charge and discharge protection circuitry to look after the cells and try to ensure that they have their full lifespan of 500 charge discharge cycles. A smaller one has a nominal capacity of 2200 milliamp hours and it has LEDs here which uh, blue one will come on when I switch it on as you will see in a moment. There's a green one there which comes on when it's fully charged and a red one when it's uh, charging. The larger pack has a nominal capacity of 5200 milliamp hours which gives it a bit over twice the longevity of the other pack. The larger pack has a shiny plastic case whereas the smaller pack actually has a metal case. And here they both are with the Raspberry Pi just to give you an idea of the relative size. What's in the pack? Well each one ships with a lead for an iPhone or iPad and a USB to micro USB lead for powering other phones or other devices like the Raspberry Pi. So let's just show you the small pack powering the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to hit the button here which is your on off switch and you'll see the blue LED comes on and you'll see the power LED starts coming on on the Pi and in a moment the blue LED on the Wi-Fi dongle will flash a few times as well. Now in some tests I recently did this battery pack lasted for three and a half hours on a single charge and that was with the Pi with, with this Wi-Fi dongle plugged in. Uh, it wasn't doing much other than logging one entry to the log file every minute just so that I could check what, what time it finished. So in a more realistic use, like if you were watching a movie on um, OMX Player or Open Elec or something like that, it would be able to power the Pi for about 2 hours and 40 minutes, which for such a small pack is actually quite good. This pack has three indicator LEDs to show you the state of charge, and the LED here is to show you that it's, that it's actually switched on. So I've shut that Pi down, now I'm going to power it off. See the lights have all gone out. And here's the products with their packaging so that you can see what the product codes are. The small one is 7757504 and the larger one is 7757508. I believe the smaller one goes for about £13 and the larger one is about £26. This one is really very sweet with its metal case. It's very smooth. You've got the on off switch. It feels very nice in the hand. This is a more substantial piece of kit. It's heavier and um, it's very nice. It's got great capacity. I think this would be a good briefcase model or you might carry one in your laptop carrier or something. Just to make sure you never run out of charge either for your Pi or for your phone. I tested the duration of both packs running a single Raspberry Pi and an Edimax Wi-Fi dongle and I used this script you can see on your screen which you can get from the Raspi TV blog if you want to try it yourself but basically this enabled me to test how long each battery pack would power the Raspberry Pi for without having to watch it the whole time so the results are as follows the smaller pack conked out after 3 hours and 33 minutes which is pretty good for such a small pack and the larger pack conked out after 8 hours and 53 minutes. Now the Pi wasn't doing very much during that time but uh, when it is run under stress 
for example, watching a high-definition film using OMX player or OpenELEC, it uses half a watt more, so it uses about two and a half watts. So converting the figures I got from idling into hard-use figures, so the small pack would power the Raspberry Pi for about two hours and 40 minutes of hard use, and the larger pack would power a Raspberry Pi for six hours and 40 minutes of hard use, both of which are pretty good. Bear in mind that a real-world figure would probably be something in the middle of those two figures. If you'd like to subscribe to the Raspberry TV YouTube channel, when the video finishes, click on the I and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.